Hey, what's up guys, Camp and Rusher here. A lot more has leaked about our upcoming live event and then the update this week. How is it going to work? It seems that the downtime and then the actual content are happening at two separate times. Both are big deals because the downtime means live event stuff and then the content, which is the Season X, Season 9 stuff coming, is also important. So stick with me. Lots to talk about. The event countdown timer will be visible in-game on November 21st at 9 a.m. Eastern. And we have a look at at what that's going to look like and with the, the, this is a big deal for two reasons one the live event timer is just exciting fun we'll see the exact time and day we assume december 2nd for the chapter finale event the og finale event as well and but with that the, we should see an announcement as well with this right like an official blog post that we assume the big bang is the name of the live event and other maybe even a, a photo or a teaser trailer we, we've had that in the past when the countdown starts we get a big post i think that's happened the last two live events actually at least and with this being said the 21st there could be some downtime attached to this we assumed because we we know basically for sure that the 23rd is the the hot fix and that's where season 9 season x uh the content will come this is actually thanksgiving day in america as well so here's what i think is happening we're getting downtime november 21st the the kind of back to normal the tuesday morning monday night type of thing and then the actual content is going to drop the hot fix will drop without downtime on the 23rd as we've already known this will be the final downtime update of this season the final one before chapter five so it's a big one subscribe turn your noties on we will have videos up right away we did learn a little bit more about the live event today and i i mean yeah i guess spoiler warning but it, it's nothing too crazy um you know skip ahead a little bit if, if you're not interested though but here it is other than the rocket that has the time machine we we know that's happening there should be six more rockets in this live event just like the chapter one end event potentially indicating the involvement of the seven this is not confirmed but egyptian leaker he knows what he's talking about and it's based off it's based off of some code names inside of some code names in the files that that that's his his, his source here so it's a bit of a guess based on evidence uh, but if this is true this is a massive deal uh, we haven't had the only indication we've had that the seven could be involved is that within the meteor the visitors pod is there so this is exciting news. I hope it happens. I hope we get to see the return of some of these epic characters, storyline characters that we haven't seen or heard from in so long now. I talked about a few things yesterday with the, the live event, the, the Rocket Loot Lake Island Meteor. We know those are all going to be involved. Grind Rails will be a part of the event. The servers will go down approximately approximately 8 to 11 hours after the event, so, so servers may stay up, or we're just going to get... That might just mean we're getting the black hole for 8 to 11 hours, and then downtime begins. That's probably the more likely answer the event contains six stages and there'll be a, a lobby animation a lead up and of course yeah we're, we're going to get more info soon and, and then finally uh, we talked about this this is a big thing going around in the community right now and that is that the chapter finale playlist is rated the e for everyone which means at this point a bunch of the cosmetics that have been age restricted are not going to be playable however in my video yesterday we talked about fortnite's tweet they are addressing this they're going going to have some sort of option or fix for in time for the live event they have not announced what their plan is but it sounds like you're going to be able to use your favorite skin even if it's age restricted at, at some of the different ratings okay i'll let you know as soon as we know what's happening with that but i, I the point of this uh, talk here is that because the chapter finale playlist is rated e that that probably means there's no weapons no weapon interactions we know this because games that have weapons in uefn in creative are, are being rated teen t for teen so i mean i don't really know how you have a live event without any shooting but it, it, it might be fully cinematic i'm not even saying i'm fully against this it's it's just weird i'm not gonna make any judgments before we actually see the live event fortnite kind of relies on shooting as a main part of the especially for battle royale the main part of the game
So we'll, we'll see how it plays out. It seems like during the chapter finale, we will somehow be able to see the new chapter map. And this first tweet, hang on before we, this is actually the false tweet. It will most likely also be the downtime screen with the following location showing beach, mining, and castle. This was corrected, okay? Mining, beach, and castle are in the files and they are names of maps that will be featured in the event or the pre-event, but they are not chapter five map locations. So no. No, I don't think we're going to see chapter five map in the live event, but yes, there are, I don't know if these will be altered versions of the map, different stages of the map throughout the live event. And then finally, here's an event theory from Akko. It will lead to a complete timeline change and a new story. Characters we knew will, will no longer be a part of it. And if they are, they will be different versions of what we know them as, right? This is going to be a full change to the story, a full reset. It's like chapter two, three, Three, four never really happened especially for the characters that stick around they'll be just different versions of themselves it's such a weird cool concept where we may see characters that look the same but are just you know totally different personalities and even maybe different loyalties allegiances going forward i i, I can't wait for this live event it's going to be it's going to be epic a reminder of what's coming for the season nine and x update rolling out on the 23rd the rocket at dusty div it will be completed the time machine moving to dusty will be now attached to the rocket cube island gets updated once again it will show the zero point and the meteor will appear on the map things that will not return volcano poi sunny steps neo tilted and haunted hills this was a mistake it's already there returning ballers heavy sniper grenade launcher airstrike junk rift storm flip and jet packs at this point it looks like we are not getting the mechs or the guided missile returning they were planned to return as they were updated in the files but there's been nothing officially announced so it would have to be a big a big shocker a big surprise and at this point i don't think it's happening i'm a little sad about it i was ready i was ready to mech it up man uh, even if it was overpowered let's move on to the rocket racing mode chapter five another thing that is launching with chapter five we talked about the lego mode in the previous video massive leaks about that so if you're interested after this go check it out we're not going to talk lego in this one but rocket league racing is also launching so some info on it it will get devices relating to rocket racing to allow users to create their own race tracks there will be a race manager music manager and much more so yeah in creative i don't know if this is like the rocket racing version of creative or if it's just going to be one thing regardless it seems like you're going to be able to make your own tracks for this new racing mode so excited to see what this is like i i, I just i get excited for weird random things that we can't picture when there's so much effort being put into it right and that's what the lego the rocket racing all seem to be so chapter five i mean it's it's going to be different than anything we've seen yet rocket racing will also feature a formula x collab it contains a special formula x racetrack just so you know, that'll be coming too. And then interesting here, good news. First person mode will be coming to creative. There will be a device that can toggle first person on and off. It'll cost 1400 memory. First person is for sure coming to Fortnite. Is it coming to Battle Royale? The answer remains to be seen. I'll let you know as soon as we know more, but we will start to see creative maps uh, with first person that actually works and it is supposed to be there. I know we've seen versions of first person, but this will be the, the cleanest we've seen yet. Codename Elf will be back in the item shop tomorrow. Thanks to everyone using code the camp and rusher for anything helps me out a lot. Chapter five, season two, we're already getting there, right? So it, just a little bit of news. It seems to start March 3rd, 2024, according to the, the dates in the files. That would mean that the next season, uh, season one, chapter five, season one will last exactly three months from the 3rd of December until the 3rd of March. Final thing I've got for you, it's to do a chapter five map. And we've talked so much about this uh, as there's been lots of leaks, but something we haven't talked about, and that is 
ACO, a train vehicle theory. The Chapter 5 map, which we've seen, there it is, has a pathway trail that is parallel to roads. It even goes through a POI. It probably means nothing, but it's quite an unusual trail and could indicate train rails. We've wanted this for so long. I think I was talking about this theory and, and excitement all the way back in Chapter 2. Having a moving train that constantly uh, circles around the map on a, on a rail that's pre-built obviously loaded up with a ton of loot. Maybe the loot even respawns midway through the game or something, but it would just work so well. It would be such a blast. I know other big Battle Royale games have this already, and it works. It's fun. Let me know what you think. Touch that like button. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.